طيب يعطيكم الف عافيه هلا احنا المحاضره الماضيه uh, we finished talking about the alkylating agents وبلشنا نحكي عن الانتي ميتابولايتس right طيب do you recall you know, what is the drug that we discussed at the end of last time lecture methotrexate yes or those which methotrexate and its analogs which are inhibitors of which enzyme do you remember dihydrofolate reductase exactly Hello, the, the other enzyme that we will start talking about today is closely related to dihydrofolate reductase and yani eventually those two enzymes are connected together this enzyme اللي راح نحكي عنه highly depends on the product of dihydrofolate reductase أو let's say the intermediate that dihydrofolate reductase produces which is THF okay طيب هلا thymidylate synthase what do you think this enzyme does synthesizes thymidine or thymine okay هلا thymine with thymidine يعني هي names for the nucleic bases in there let's say different forms whether or not they are ready to be introduced in the DNA الثيامين هو بس the nucleic base الثيامين لما نربط معه let's say deoxyribose this is called thymidine okay أو الribose thymidine okay طيب now الثيامديلات سنتيز أو سنتيز what this enzyme does it synthesizes again اللي هو الثيامين أو الثيامدين in particular الثيامدين لأنه بيكون already a substrate in the form of a mono let's say phosphate ribonucleotide هلا the precursor أو خلينا نحكي substrate اللي هال enzyme uses to synthesize a thymidine monophosphate from is uracil monophosphate. The uracil with thymine are, uh, let's say, very similar in terms of a structural variation. فقط ما بينهم. If you look at their structures, is what? Methyl. Okay. In this position, there's a methyl instead of a hydrogen. All right. حتى لو مش مرسومة, you need to know by default, you know, definitely we have here a hydrogen to complete the octet around this carbon. Okay. هلا deoxyuridine monophosphate is synthesized by or from uracil. Okay. This nucleic base before binding to thymidylate synthetase or synthase. Okay. It needs to be activated, which is attaching a deoxyribose and a phosphate to it in the form of a, uh, a deoxyuridine monophosphate this precursor of this substrate would become ready to bind to thymidylate synthetase حتى thymidylate synthetase اللي يعمله ببساطة convert it into thymine uh, uh, monophosphate okay طيب where do you think this carbon comes from In the thymidylate synthase. Yes. Thymidylate synthase. لا. The enzyme نفسه yes. The enzyme نفسه does not let's say provide the carbon as it is. It takes it. يعني the enzyme اللي بيعمله it takes the carbon from a source. واللي هو إحنا بنسميه cofactor, which is 5-10 methylene THF. بياخد the carbon منه وبضيفها على the uracil بحوله للثيامين. Okay. هلا the drug that inhibits this enzyme برأيكم structurally أفضل إشي يكون بيشبه مين a substrate okay so what they've done simply is that they took the structure of the substrate which is uracil they've substituted the hydrogen on this let's say carbon with a fluorine رح نضطر آسفين إنه نحكي عن the exact mechanism اللي بتصير inside the active site حتى نفهم ليش لما أنا أغير الهيدروجين with the fluorine okay this will inhibit covalently a thymidylate synthetase فحتى نفهمها مية بالمية لازم إحنا ندخل بتفاصيل what happens inside the active site and this is what we will do now but before that let me show you a crystal structure of the active site of thymidylate synthetase اللي اللي what is shown as let's say helices, ribbons uh, uh, let's say loops, this represents a thymidylate synthetase. Okay. What is in gray, this represents the enzyme. 
okay? And those two molecules or those molecules which are colored for sure, we must the substrate the beer to enzyme, which is deoxyuridine monophosphate, okay? Which you think is the one in blue or the one in green? The one in blue, okay? This one in here, or this structure in here is deoxyuridine monophosphate, okay? This is the uh, uh, amid part in here. This is the carbon where the methyl will be added to it. Tamam? رح نحكي بس نحكي عن الميكانيزم why I would have a covalent bond between the substrate to between the enzyme or one of the amino acid residues in the enzyme. Okay. What do you think the green part is? That molecule in green. برأيكم إيش هو؟ Yes. It's actually, هو مش exactly 510 methylene THF. هو actually an analog of it. Okay? لكن um, it binds exactly where the THF binds. فلاحظوا إنه الإنزيم اللي بيعمله it binds to both the substrate and the cofactor بقربهم جدا من بعض حتى يتفاعلوا عشان ينقل الكربون من THF أو من 510 methylene THF into the urease اللي بيحولها لثايمين. Okay? So this is what we will be explaining in this slide. شوي راح أدخل هيك بالتفاصيل um, أو يعني at least مش رح uh, يعني مش مطلوب منكم تعرفوا exactly everything بس إنه at least uh, up to a point where let's say a base abstract a proton in here لحد هاي النقطة what follows then مش ضروري إنه نعرفها وليش أنا بهمني نشرحها لأنه بس نشوف إنه when the drug ال 5 فلورو يوراسيل لما ابدل هاي الهيدروجين وذ فلورين ليش هلا الكمباوند بيصير عندي ا سويسايد انهبيتور اور ليت سي ان انهبيتور اوف ذا انزيم راذر ذان ا سبستريت ما بصير عليه ميثيليشن اوكي طيب ليت مي ليت سي بريك ذس فيجر انتو بيسز تمام هلا ذا ون ان بلو هير ريبريزنتس إنه في الأكتف سايت في عندي one very important residue اللي هي سيستين أوكي بهالفيجر مش مبين the structure of the enzyme فقط مبين let's say أو in this let's say representation of the mechanism of action that occurs inside the the active site of uh, thymidylate synthetase فقط اللي مبين اللي هو the most important catalytic residue the residue that is very important be the conversion of thymine, uh, uracil into thymine, which is cysteine. With cysteine, is she a functional group? Thiol or sulfhydryl, the SH, okay? Type. This structure in here represents what? A substrate, which is deoxyuridine monophosphate. So what about this part? Yes. So simply اللي بده يصير انه هاي الكربون اللي موجوده عندي هون the methylene between nitrogen 5 and 10 in this cofactor in this THF cofactor اللي راح يصير انها راح تنتقل هاي الكربون وترتبط ب carbon number 5 باليوراسيل اوكي okay. طيب الانتراكشن اللي بده يصير ما بينهم is simply nucleophile attacking an electrophile مين الالكتروفايل Yes, this carbon in here. Why do you think it's electrophilic? Exactly, it's in between two nitrogens that are withdrawing electrons from that carbon, leaving it very, very electrophilic. Okay? هلا اللي موجود هون is simply let's say another form of THF. يعني أنا ممكن أرسم THF بحيث إنه الميثايلين تكون أو هاي الكربون تكون مرتبطة. Maybe let's say those two nitrogens. Don't ever forget, you know, there are definitely two hydrogens in here. Or I can simply draw it as if, you know, it's only bonded through a sigma and a double bond with nitrogen number five. No matter what, whether let's say being drawn in this form or that form, high carbon is still considered highly electrophilic. تمام؟ طب مين النيوكليوفايل؟ Where is the where is the nucleophile? مين اللي راح يعمل اتاك على هاي الكربون؟ أنا وين بشبك هاي الكربون؟ أو وين الإنزيم بشبك هاي الكربون؟ 
اللي هي carbon number five بالurethane. This one. هلا drawn like this. Is it electrophilic? As for is it is this nitrogen? هل بعتبر هاي ال as هل بعتبر هاي ال carbon nucleophilic? لا. Okay. So what the enzyme will do? إنه راح يحولها into something nucleophilic. Okay. هلا بهاي ال step لاحظوا شو بصير عندي. The sulfur will attack the beta carbon. Okay. هلا for that bond that will form, راح تنكسر ال pi bond ما بين ال beta وال alpha carbons أو carbon number five. All right. All the way to the carbonyl in here, giving rise to this intermediate. هلا السلفر صارت covalently bound to the beta carbon. Okay. وأنا حولت هاي ال alpha beta unsaturated amide into an enolate. تمام؟ That part in here where you would have a negative charge on the oxygen and a double bond between this carbon and this carbon or the carbonyl carbon or alpha carbon هاي بسميها enolate. Okay? Now, drawn like this, is this carbon now a nucleophilic? أرسمو أو جربو أرسمو the other resonance form of this enolate. You will see, and no, I can simply, when moving the electrons, have a full negative charge on the carbon. It's actually a carbonion, which would highly, or which would make this carbon highly, highly nucleophilic. Well, it's already ready to attack the electrophilic carbon in THF. Okay? Tamam, up to this point. All right. طيب. Now, when this carbon would attack this electrophilic carbon, راح يتكون عندي now a bond ما بين carbon number five or the alpha carbon and this carbon source in THF. فلاحظوا هلا صار عندي the enzyme صار مرتبط covalently with the beta carbon and the uracil is now covalently bound to THF. لكن at the end أنا صارت هلا عندي a carbon that is connectedly أو directly attached to carbon number five. هلا what do you think the other things or what the enzyme will do later or next? Yes, إنه أنا بدي أكسر هاي ال bonds وأرجع أفك ال ال uracil أو خلينا نحكي هلا اللي لازم أسميه thymine من ال THF ومن ال enzyme. Okay? How the bond between THF يعني سوري انا بحكي THF بس البوينت انه عشان هيك اسهل علي اضل احكي 510 مثالي THF اوكي سو اي ويل ريفير تو ات اس THF هلا THF البوينت انه انا بدي اكسر البوند ما بين ذس نيتروجين ان THF اند ذس كاربون ان هير اند هاو ذا انزيم دوز ذات باي هافينج ا بيسك ريزيديو ذات از فيري كلوز تو ذس الفا كاربون الفا بروتون اس كلكم بتعرفوا انه الالفا بروتونز او البروتونز اللي موجودين على الالفا كاربون اوف اني كاربونيل سيستم انا بعتبرهم سلايتلي اسيدك اوكي بمعنى انه انا اللي عندي بيس ذات از رايت نيكست تو ذس بروتون ات كان اتاك ذات بروتون تكسر الباند ما بين الهيدروجين والكربون اوكي فورمينج ا دبل باند ان هير ويتش ويل ايفينتشوالي ليد تو ذا بريكج ما بين خلينا نسميها الثايامين كاربون and the nitrogen of the THF. Okay? This is what I need you to know in the mechanism of action up to this point. Later on, how the enzyme later is broken away from thiamine and then the thiamine is released. Hi, later steps, احنا مش ضروري او مش ضروري انكم تعرفوها exactly. Okay? تمام? So again, if we go back to this crystal structure, what you see in here, that bond between is sulfur, which is represented in yellow, that is part of a cysteine residue, in particular cysteine 146 in thymidylate synthetase. Why it's covalently bound? لأنه حتى الإنزيم يعمل activation للuracil عشان يعمل attack على الميثايلين كاربون بالTHF. Okay, it does so by attacking L beta carbon. حتى يحولها into an enolate وتصير هلا ال enolate nucleophilic enough تعمل attack على ال TH of carbon. Okay? 
طيب لو بدلنا or لما بدلوا ال hydrogen with a fluorine to give rise to this let's say anti-cancer drug ال 5-fluorouracil طبعا before ال 5-fluorouracil before binding to thiamidylate synthetase it needs to be bioactivated عشان احنا بنعتبر ال 5-fluorouracil a prodrug it needs to be converted in eventually into the deoxyfluoro أو 5 deoxy fluoro acid deoxy uridine monophosphate يعني لازم ينشبك عليه أو it needs to be let's say attached to a sugar part and a phosphate group okay now when it's bioactivated to this form برضو كمان it simply can fit easily in the active site of the enzyme السلفر بتعمل اتاك على البيتا كاربن بتكون عندي الانولايت ذات ويل اتاك ذا الكتروفيليك كاربن ان تي اتش اف اوكي وبصير هلا اليوراسيل مرتبطه كوفالنتلي وذ تي اتش اف اند اولسو ذات يوراسيل از ناو ستيل كوفالنتلي باوند تو ذا سلفر ان ذا سيستين اوف ذا انزيم هلا النكست ستيب حتى انه تو ريليس الثايمين او ال5 فلوروثايمين شو لازم يصير؟ البيس نيدز تو اتاك الفلورين اول رايت ولما تنكسر هاي الباند ذس از ويل ايفنشولي بريك ذا باند ما بين الكربون ان ذس ثايمين والنيتروجين اول رايت لكن ذس دوز نوت هابن واي دو يو ثينك ذات؟ يس هلا in the case of the natural substrate this proton or this let's say bond is polarized towards the carbon the hydrogen in here has actually a partial positive charge لما انا احولها into a fluorine او ابدل الهيدروجين with a fluorine that fluorine okay is actually the polarity is towards the fluorine it has a partial negative charge and add to that إنه الكربون فلورين باند is a very 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 strong bond مش أي شيء بيكسرها nothing in the active site of thymidylate synthetase can break that bond ما بين الكربون والفلورين وما دام ما انكسرت ما رح تنكسر الباند ما بين الثايمين وما بين ال THF okay which means إنه ال 5 fluorouracil بعد ما يرتبط بالإنزيم بيرتبط كوفالنتلي مع الانزيم وبيصير عليه ميثيليشن وبيتفاعل مع التي اتش اف او ال5 ميثايلين ال510 ميثايلين تي اتش اف لكن ايفينشولي ما راح تنكسر الباند ما بين البرودكت او خلينا نحكي الثايمين مع التي اتش اف مع الانزيم وات يو جيت ايفينشولي از ذس ستيبل كومبلكس ما بين الانزيم ذات از ناو كوفالنتلي باند to the uracil and also covalently bond to THF. That is why we consider a 5 flow uracil a suicide inhibitor. مجرد ما ارتبط بالانزيم as if it has killed the enzyme. It cannot be, let's say, regenerated. لازم السلس ترجع وتصنع thymidylate synthetase to function normally. Okay? And for those very Uh, or highly proliferating cells, this is not, let's say, practical at all. Okay? I'll give you the consequences of what happens due to, let's say, substituting the uracil with 5-fluorouracil. Uh, يعني بس التفاصيل اللي مذكورة هنا مش كلها أنتم مطالبين فيها. Only what is mentioned in your slides. That's all. Okay? Now, to begin with, the 5-fluorouracil, the active form of 5-fluorouracil, inhibits this let's say enzyme which means in no راح يصير في عندي depletion with thiamine which is very important for DNA synthesis او بمعنى اخر it will inhibit consequently a DNA replication okay also what they found out in no this form of our 5 fluorouracil after being converted into the triphosphate form It can be incorporated into DNA, which eventually leads to DNA damage. Okay, the 5 fluorouracil itself can be converted eventually into the triphosphate form that also can be incorporated into RNA, which leads to RNA damage. 
such damages in RNA and DNA damage لأنه it gets incorporated into DNA اللي بصير عندي ببساطة alright إنه it activates P53 definitely سمعتوا أو مر عليكم هالبروتين before yes P53 they call it the guardian of the genome يعني it's considered a tumor suppressor whenever there is لا it's not a check up I'm not sure صراحة بديش أعطي معلومة أنا مش متأكدة منها بس what this enzyme it's, it is considered a tumor suppressor يعني when it detects any damage with DNA or RNA it eventually stimulates um, cascade of events that eventually leads to stopping the DNA replication with DNA transcription okay or in some cases in apoptosis تمام as I have mentioned, يعني the details اللي أنا ذكرتها هون فقط اللي معروف اللي مطلوب منكم what is mentioned in your slides. Anything extra مش راح تنسألوا عنه في الامتحان. The capecitabine is another, let's say, inhibitor of thymidylate synthetase, which was designed based on the 5-fluorouracil. It is also for sure a pro-drug, لكن the 5-fluorouracil, the bioactivation is just one step. Okay, which is conversion into the uridine monophosphate form. Like in fihalit al capicitabine, il bioactivation requires a multi step. Okay, it requires many enzymes, had to eventually yatin il 5 fluorouracil. Okay, talaw ala the structure of capicitabine, we have all the variations between the 5 fluorouracil. This is 5-fluorouracil. في عليه مجموعة إبوكسيد مع مع شو اسمه اثنين ثلاثة أربعة خمسة بي بنت بنتان تطلع. Oh, you mean this part in here? لا لا فوق دكتور اللي هو ال. Yes, that's a long aliphatic chain. What do you think they've added this for? What is the purpose of this one? حتى زيدوا من إيش؟ In lipophilicity. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, it will become highly hydrophobic. The reason, حتى إنهم حتى يصير في عندي very rapid absorption of the compound versus the five fluorouracil, so that the drug will become very strongly, oh sorry, very quickly absorbed. حتى يقللوا من الجاستريك سايتوتوكسيسيتي او الجاستريك توكسيسيتي اسوسييتد وذ 5 فلوروريسيل اوكي هلا such a design also انه ليش مثلا احنا او غيروا اليوراسيل جروب انتو سايتوسين اوكي and they've attached this part in here that can be removed by thymidine phosphorylase هاي كانت بناء على دراسات طلعت ان في ذاك الوقت انه in tumor cells the cytidine deaminase, in particular the thiamine phosphorylase, these are actually upregulated in cancerous cells. Okay, why well, enzymes, this drug needs them to eventually be converted into 5-fluorouracil. In terms of the bioactivation, what happens to capicitapine? Okay, first, this uh, uh, long alkyl chain can be uh, hydrolyzed or removed by a simple, let's say, hydrolysis of this carbamatic group, giving rise to the uh, fluorocytidine. Okay, is this a normal ribose? يعني هل ممكن إنه تنضاف عليها phosphate group? Look at five. Oh, sorry. أو حتى بدون ما أفرجيكم يعني you should know that. Phosphate group one turned off. Oh. Yes. Do you see a hydroxyl group in here? No. All right. So um, it cannot be, let's say, one of a phosphorylated. Um, uh, um, this part in here cannot be phosphorylated. And this ring was added because they knew you know, it can be, let's say, or this bond can be broken uh, by the action of thymidine phosphorylase. 
okay, which I, as I have mentioned, is thymidine phosphorylase. This enzyme is upregulated in cancerous cells. فعشان هيك بصير في عندي selective bioactivation inside, let's say, the tumor cells. Okay, after being absorbed, the first thing that happens is the conversion of the hydrolysis of this carbamate that will release a cytidine. A cytidine the variation between or between a uracil is that we have an amidine versus, let's say, oh, um, sorry. لا هاي فيها سوري هاي فيها إشي غلط آسفة آسفة هاي should be yeah um, sorry الكتاب غلطانين فيها يا جماعة بس معلش عدلوها it's actually an amid okay now the conversion of the amidine in cytidine into an amide to give rise to the uracil. This process occurs by the action of cytidine deaminase. Hal the liver cells, the cytidine deaminase mawjood, and it can convert its cytidine into a uracil. Like in this enzyme is found, uh, uh, let's say, at higher levels, upregulated, and the activity بتكون عنده أكثر in cancerous cells. So if you would give equal amounts or equal, let's say, doses of 5 fluorouracil and also capecitapine, which is a prodrug of 5 fluorouracil, the eventually the 5 fluoro or capecitapine will have the distribution more to give the 5 fluorouracil inside the cancer cells more than if you would give 5 fluorouracil directly. Okay. Any questions so far? The floor B. Uh, those bonds are weaker. يعني ممكن ممكن يصير في chance أكبر. يعني مثلاً لو بدلت أنت الفلورين with something that is bigger. هلا to begin with, the bromine size-wise مقارنة بالفلورين أكبر. ف maybe um, ممكن إنه هل ال substrate أو this drug may not fit in the active site to begin with. The fluorine size-wise, size-wise, مشابهة للهيدروجين. Oh. Will bond ما بين the carbon and the hydrogen. Um, oh, sorry, ما بين the carbon and the fluorine versus the carbon and bromine much, much stronger. فحتى لو افترضنا إنه لو بدلت the fluorine أو the hydrogen with the bromine, it can fit into the active site. ممكن تنكسر هاي البعض. It might be broken. It might be subject to attack by nucleophiles. And can it not a bond? Okay. But the main reason why they chose the fluorine because size-wise, the fluorine is considered a bioisosteer of hydrogen, or it is a bioisosteer of hydrogen because size-wise they are somehow similar. Okay. Well, carbon a fluorine bond is much much stronger than a carbon bromine or a carbon iodine. Okay. ننتقل هلا لا another enzyme which is ribonucleotide ribonucleotide reductase. What do you think this enzyme does? بما إنه ribonucleotide معناها it's not selective to one specific ribonucleotide. It can bind to uridine, adenosine, uh, uh, cytosine, or any of those nucleic bases. Okay, reductase it definitely reduces those let's say, uh, ribonucleotides. So in particular, it converts, let's say, a ribonucleotides into deoxyribonucleotides. Why we consider this process reduction? Because a process where I would lose an oxygen or add and or add hydrogens and a reduction process. Okay? The inhibitor, for this enzyme that we will talk about is called, let's say, hydroxycarbamide, which is this one. This enzyme, if it binds to the to the well, as this is drug, if it binds to the enzyme, it will inhibit the action of the enzyme. So that we can understand the structural features that are necessary in this drug, we definitely need to take a look at what the enzyme does inside the active site. But also, 
بكل الايمجز اللي راح نشوفها ليتر اون كل يعني مش كل التفاصيل انتم مطلوبه منكم انا فقط راح احدد ايش اللي مهم نعرفه اوكي طيب um, what is this functionality without the hydroxyl urea yes طيب the, the image you see in here represents a crystal structure of the enzyme and as i've mentioned what the enzyme does it replaces this hydroxyl at this position or the two prime position with a hydrogen. Now, if you zoom in on the active site of the enzyme, the main catalytic residue that does so is tyrosine 122. There is a cofactor موجود عندي في active site which is iron. Don't worry about the other amino acids in the module. The those are, let's say, are present anchor arrived nucleotides with another what their structure is. Ala li bisir simply inno ana al iron li mojud indi fil active site it would generate a free radical from the tyrosine. That free radical is what will initiate the process of the reduction. Let's say outlined in this image, but as I have mentioned. كل التفاصيل هاي احنا ابدا مش رح نحكي عنها. What I just need you let's say to understand انه inside the active site of ribonucleotide reductase that is shown in here, this tyrosine 122 the iron generates a free radical. وكلنا بنعرف انه الفري راديكال ار ذوس سبيشيز وير وي هاف ان اوربيتال ذات هاز ون انبيرد الكترون از انديكيتد ان هير. اند ذات انبيرد الكترون is the one that initiates eventually the process of the removal of this hydroxyl and substituting it with the hydrogen. All these steps are here, definitely we're not going to discuss it. Okay? You just need to understand in what starts or initiates the reduction of process is this free radical. Uh, let's say the drug and how it inhibits this enzyme. When it binds to the active site of the enzyme, it interacts with the free radical and converts it into a neutral form. Once it's, it is converted into the uh, phenolic form, okay, يعني مش راح يكون موجود عندي بالactive site حتى إنه يعمل any reduction of any ribonucleotide that is bound to it. تمام؟ How it does so by simple, let's say, uh, uh, a neutralization of this radical with a, يعني the bond between the oxygen and the hydrogen will homolytically cleave. بمعنى إنه هاي two electrons of this bond will equally broke, where one electron on the hydrogen will form a bond with this one electron from the oxygen. وبيطلع عندي the compound in the form of a nitrooxide radical. Okay, this is all I need you to know regarding the chemistry behind the mechanism of action of this drug. Adenosine deaminase. What do you think the substrate of this enzyme is? Adenosine. Okay, deaminase. Manaha. Yeah, it substitutes the amino group in this enzyme, in this substrate as well, adenosine, and converts it into an amide, okay? Hala, this enzyme is part of the catabolism that happens uh, for uh, 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 the nucleotides that are present in the cell, okay? We're going to for sure how this enzyme acts to understand why they designed this analog in this form. Hello, how this is important, how this eventually affects the DNA replication with the transcription. El adenosine, uh, let's say, uh, substrate, if I would inhibit this enzyme, I will adenosine deaminase, meaning the levels of adenosine will rise in the cell. All right, and when rising, this compound feedback or gives feedback to a ribonucleotide reductase to stop the synthesis or the or conversion of the ribose into the deoxyribose. 
which is needed for sure to eventually prepare the nucleosides to be incorporated in, into DNA, and thus consequently inhibits a DNA synthesis. Okay, so in other words, this drug accumulates in adenosine and indirectly inhibits nucleotide reductase. And the adenosine levels, لما ترتفع عندي في cells in the form of let's say ATP, this will eventually bind to ribonucleotide reductase and inhibits this enzyme from doing its action. Now, to understand Hamilton appearing rather than disappearing. We need to look at what happens inside the active site. Okay? For the substitution of this amine with a carbonyl eventually. Min wan biraikum mungkin el enzyme yajib el oxygen. What is the most abundant source of oxygen? El water. Okay? Hala, in other words, el water should act as a nucleophile. And this carbon is a slightly electrophilic because if you, let's say, attack it or if a nucleophile would attack it, that pi bond can be broken. They, as if you are attacking a carbonyl, let's say carbon. H2O, is it considered a very strong nucleophile? Will it be let's say, stronger? It's relatively weak, okay? How can you make it stronger? Yes, convert it into a hydroxide. حتى أحول ال water into a hydroxide شو بحتاج base, okay? And this is what happens inside the active site of the enzyme, a basic residue that is located right next to a water molecule can abstract that proton, converting the water into a hydroxide, which now becomes much more a nucleophilic, attacking this electrophilic site, okay? For this new bond that we form between oxygen and this carbon, high pi bond will Normally in lab, if this is to happen, that negative charge will reside on nitrogen. I already have a base with a body acid, they will neutralize, they will react with themselves. وبينس ولت سي ال 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 interacting species اللي هم ال water وال ال adenosine. This is the beauty of enzymes, and you can have a basic catalyst and an acidic catalyst in the same active site in the enzyme working together. So when this pi bond breaks, there is let's say a protonated basic functionality where you have an acidic proton right next to it that will neutralize it in the form of NH. This is the oxygen coming from water that is now bond to this carbon. I still have that bond between a nitrogen, okay, or this amino group, and let's say that pi bond between the carbon and nitrogen that is part of the ring is broken. Okay, now to convert it into an amide, what do you think? I need to break the bond between the carbon and nitrogen. And to begin with, this intermediate where I have a carbon that is sp3 hybridized, bound to three heteroatoms, this is not a stable intermediate. Okay? Spontaneously, it will degrade where the, yeah, I'm say, one of the lone pairs on the oxygen will reform a double bond. And let's say, that carbon nitrogen bond. And this is how the uh, amidine is converted into an amide. The first step. Okay? Like, when you see structures where we would put it between brackets with this sign, do you know why we call those structures? No. That intermediate becomes stable. What is the, let's say, most unstable structure? Transition states, exactly. Transition states. The structure in between 
what we call, let's say, a substrate and an intermediate. This structure is called a transition state. Hala bil transition state kif ahna nursumo? Any bond that is broken or formed in the process is represented by a dashed line. So that oxygen carbon bond is represented by a dashed line. That pi bond between a carbon and a nitrogen is represented by a dashed line. And it's a transition state okay, in, ha, uh, in between two structures where the bonds that are forming are our atoms that are forming bond are getting close together and the bond that are broken are, let's say, getting away from each other. Okay. هلا صح مرسومين وكأنه الأكسجين مرت قريبة جدا من الكربون وكأنه في ما بيناتهم سيجما باند لكن هي actually الأكسجين بتكون لسه بعيدة عن الكربون لسه ما اقتربت إنف حتى تكون بينها وبين الكربون السيجما باند. Okay. هلا that structure in here يعني لو بدي أحسب المسافة مثلا ما بين الأكسجين والكربون والنيتروجين أو الأكسجين والنيتروجين صح بهال ترانزيشن ستيت بتبين وكأنه في ون كربون بتفصل بيناتهم لكن لو بدي أحسب أحسب المسافة بالضبط actually the distance between them equals more than just one bond and this is what they implemented in this structure in here الباند ما بين الأكسجين والنيتروجين وكأنه أنا في عندي let's say two carbons between them to represent or to resemble a distance between the oxygen and nitrogen in a transition state. This is why this is a drug that was designed is called a transition state analog. All right. Hala, I don't know if this is something you've heard about before or not, but. الانزيمز بترتبط بشكل اكبر في السبستريتس ولا الترانزيشن ستيتس ولا الانترميدييتس ولا البرودكتس برايكم الترانزيشن ستيتس ذا بايندينج افينيتي ما بين اني انزيم اند اتس ترانزيشن ستيت از ذا سترونجست ذات از واي يوجوالي الترانزيشن ستيت انالوجز البايندينج افينيتي لهم تو ذير ليتس سي تارجت انزيمز بتكون فيري 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 سترونج بتكون امبورتنت انهبيترز اوف ذوس انزيمز Okay. Any questions so far? So the inhibitor of this enzyme is called pentostatin. After we've done talking about it, before we move on to an entirely different um, uh, class of the drugs, we're going to finish the anti-neoplast. Just eat the anti-neoplastics. Um, um, let's say the first. We still have to, to, to discuss the kinase inhibitors. Inshallah, there will be enough time for us in Balish Fihum al Muhadar al Jai. Okay? The inhibitors of DNA polymerases. What do you think those enzymes do? Yes, they do synthesize the DNA. Okay? And what are their substrates? One of the DNA templates. Okay? And the, the other strand that they are building, they are using nucleotides. They are actually using nucleotides from the cystole, let's say, to attach them together to eventually build a DNA. Okay? Type. So, you think il, il, il inhibitors should resemble what in terms of a structure? Exactly, nucleosides. Those, those are examples of inhibitors of DNA polymerase. Lahadunam, they, or that part resembles in most of them structures of, yeah, uh, imma exact structures of nucleic bases or structurally similar to them. Okay? And also that ribose or deoxyribose part, either as it is, or they can, or we can, let's say, make a few changes in them. Hala, kulli li regarding those drugs is just structurally they do resemble the nucleotides that's all تمام? and what are the consequences of their binding to dna polymerases a structure activity relationship okay لأنها somehow very 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 complicated uh the exact exact structure for them برضو, يعني it's it's not required at this uh, in this course okay طيب. هلا, in terms of what those let's say do, 
after they enter the cells, and these are considered prodrugs because they need to be activated into the triphosphate form, okay, حتى يرتبط ب DNA polymerase, okay, and because they do resemble the the nucleic bases or the nucleotides, like in structure, is slightly different. The consequences for their binding to DNA polymerases that they may vary. Uh, they will highly stable the um, complex between the DNA polymerase and the DNA, thus, let's say, inhibiting the DNA replication. They may terminate also, uh, uh, let's say, again, as I have mentioned, or as I have said, DNA replication, and also they may uh, inhibit the enzyme itself. Okay? That's all I need you to know. And it, it, uh, if you would go back to literature, the exact, the exact, let's say, requirements for the structure activity relationship is clear. What sometimes we cannot establish a, a very, a very good, let's say, um, um, structural requirements of pharmacophoric features for those drugs. All you need to know in how structurally they do resemble the nucleotides. That's all. آخر كلاس بدنا نحكي عنه اللي هم those let's say drugs that interact with the tubulin. Okay. هلا if you look at this picture, what does it remind you of? Yes. طيب what do you think the ones in blue represents what? The chromosomes. Okay. In those multiplying cells. What about the ones in green? Yes. أو اللي إحنا بنسميهم structurally microtubules. Okay, those proteins that are built during this, let's say, phase, uh, uh, and yani for them, let's say, to uh, oh, they need to polymerize to reach the, to, to the chromosomes, and for them to pull the chromosomes away from each other, let's say, splitting of cytokinesis, they need to depolymerize. Okay, those proteins we call them. Let's say building blocks for those, let's say, uh, um, um, spindles, uh, we call them tubulin. Okay? And the process of uh, their, uh, when they reach the chromosomes and when they um, separate the chromosomes from each other, this requires polymerization and depolymerization. Our uh, polymerization of those tubulin uh, proteins and depolymerization of those tubulin. Uh, proteins, okay. فاللي راح نحكي عنهم are those drugs which bind to those proteins where they either inhibit the polymerization or inhibit the depolymerization. So uh, they inhibit, let's say, polymerization or depolymerization. The consequences are the same. They will eventually inhibit, let's say, the separation of cells. Okay. طيب. هلا this represents, let's say, a um, part of a spindle structure, okay? And if you look at the building blocks, which are represented here in white and blue, these are actually the two units that constitute the tubulin molecule, which we refer to as the alpha and beta units of tubulin molecule. To begin with, the ones that inhibit a polymerization, or in other words, the gathering of those alpha beta units of a tubulin to give rise, let's say, to those uh, spindles, uh, examples عليها اللي هم الفينكا الكالويدز. فينكريستين, فينبلاستين, for instance. هلا those compounds, as you can see, for sure, those are natural compounds. وأنا متأكدة إلا بتكونوا غطيتوهم بمادة ال uh, natural products chemistry. فاا مش رح كثير نحكي عنهم. What I need you just to recognize in their structure, إنكم بس تعرفوا the mechanism of action, and they have, let's say, two units of indole uh, rings. That's all. يعني ابدا مش راح يجيكم سؤال في الامتحان ميزوا مثلا ما بين الفين كريستين والفين بلاستين ان تيرمز اوف ستراكشر نوت ات اول اوكي اللي راح نناقشه بشكل اكبر اللي هو دوس ليت سي ذات انهبت الدي بوليمرايزيشن ويتش از التاكسول او الباسلي تاكسل اوكي الدوس تاكسل راح نحكي عنه هلا شورتلي اف يو لوك ات اتس ستراكشر دو يو ثينك ذس كومباوند از ا او كمز from nature or was synthesized or the structure was designed in lab. It's definitely due to its very, very high complexity. It is, let's say, yes, it comes from a natural source. So, I'm going to say that 
من الدكتوره تمام حكيت لكم عنه بجوز بالتفصيل in terms of where or its source and so on احنا الشيء الوحيد اللي بدنا نحكي عنه um, let's say besides that inhibits the depolymerization process that this compound okay يعني in order to get enough amount to treat one patient or at least to get one dose you need the barks of let's say trees اللي هي تقريبا بوصل عمرها ل almost 300 سنه which would lead to the death of that tree. فأبدا يعني even though they almost discovered it بالثمانية بالسبعينات لكن only بال 80s when they found a way to get this drug semi-synthetically this is when the drug was available to patients. Okay? لأنه صح it comes from nature they knew and they did establish its effectiveness in treating cancer لكن the scarcity of its source إنه يعني I have to cut down let's say three or four trees حتى بس أعالج one patient this is definitely حتى لو عملوا هالشي this will deplete all those trees from which this drug comes from. Only when they found out in the leaves of a species that is similar to this tree gives rise to an intermediate that is structurally very similar to it which is shown in here uh, where this uh, precursor can be semi-synthetically eventually converted into pastitaxel. This is when pastitaxel was available for patients. Okay? طيب. And this was very useful because that precursor اللي كانوا حصلوا بطريقة يعني you don't have, let's say, if you harvest the, the uh, leaves, you don't have, يعني this will not definitely harm the tree. ف in other words, they had, let's say, an unlimited source of that precursor from which they synthesized the pastitaxel or the taxol, and also from which they also were able to synthesize other analogs such as the docetaxel. Okay? Again, it's not necessary to know or to know exactly the structure, but it's very important for us in not to recognize the most important features in the structure of taxol. This ring in here, this four member ring in here, which is called exitane. This is very essential for activity. Um, if you look at the crystal structure of the tubulin where this drug binds, an interaction between the oxygen of this oxytane ring and one of the amino acids in the active site. For the binding of taxol to tubulin. Okay. The uh, acetyl group, the benzoyl group, Okay, all of those, let's say, functionalities are very essential for activity. Most of the manipulation was on the side chain. Okay, in the structure, or oh, in this crystal structure, you see the two units of the tubulin molecule. What, oh, uh, they are represented dif uh, uh, yani in different ways. The one that is highlighted in green, this represents the taxol structure bound to the beta unit of the tubulin. The ortotaxel is an analog that was semi-synthetically prepared from that precursor they've obtained from the leaves of um, uh, that uh, natural source of those taxanes. Okay. Relative to pastitaxel, what changes are in the structure? Yes, mostly side chain. They've substituted what with what? Yes, they've substituted those two, let's say, phenyl groups with T butyl groups or tertiary butyl groups. All right. This compound became, in terms of oral activity, much more enhanced relative to paslitaxel. The binding affinity also to the tubulin was also much more enhanced. Okay. Time. In terms of the uh, SAR, as I have mentioned, the oxytane, this benzoyl group, the side chain are also very all are essential for activity. Any changes in them would definitely lead to the inactivation of the drug. Or if it binds, the binding affinity will be in the same way. The phenyl groups in the side chain can be substituted with tert butyl, which would enhance the oral bioavailability. 
and that we can add, let's say, or they've tried to add a methyl in this uh, uh, position in here of the two prime position, this highly, uh, what they found out is that it increases in activity. That's, you, that's all you need to know regarding the SAR4 and Bacitaxel. Okay, any question about the anti-neoplastics? In libo felicity, it's a little bit Ah, yes. And if you look at, let's say, the sub, most of the substituents, how many invasive attacks they are, let's say, very lipophilic. Fell enhanced, let's say, oral, or we're going to polarity, slightly enhanced polarity would is what would increase, let's say, the absorption of this compound. Any questions so far? Like, the the next week, we're going to start with the kinase inhibitors. يعني hopefully we will need only two lectures and then we will start يعني هاي I would say would be the end um, يعني with the end of kinase inhibitors هاي المادة اللي راح تكون داخلة معكم بامتحان المد depending على انه راح يكون في quiz ولا لا uh, um, يعني ممكن جزئية إذا كان في quiz ممكن جزئية الكينيز inhibitors أدخلها في مادة الكويز so we will see about that Okay, I'll إن شاء الله in the next week, or maybe on the أو or يعني regarding liquids. I mean, I think all of you are aware that it was approved in 1985 as a liquid. But for the fact that when I met with the company, they told me that they don't do any test for any test except the I will see if there is a place where we can do يعني إنه يكون في قاعات مثلاً متواجدة أو أفيلابل ليوم 18-5 بموعد مناسب إف سو so, بنعمل لكويز ورقي إف نات رح نضل بس امتحان المد ورح نلغي لكويز أخبركم إن شاء الله بكرة شو رح يصير المد يتأجل 